Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video is a brand new beta for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. This is the beta build 1.14.1.2. The last one was 1.14.053 or 52. The numbers really do not make sense. However, the good news is this is the last beta for 1.14 until this version is fully released for iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. And there is a couple of rumors in the community that PlayStation 4, the Bedrock version, might be revealed when 1.14 is released. I will keep you all updated about that. So I will have the official change log down below. If you're on Android, Windows 10, or Xbox, you can test this for yourself, but there really hasn't been too many major changes. First thing I like to do in my beta videos is to get rid of the horrible background. So we use uh, Better Backgrounds by Raspberry Mango, Beta Text Hider. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, there's a link down below. So before we get into the official changes, guys, on the Minecraft website, right, in the 1.15 pre-release, it explains that the B update will be released on December 10th. Now, on social media, the official Minecraft Twitter account posted this just yesterday. Buzzy Bees, our up and coming holiday update packed with sweet new features, will flutter into Minecraft on December 11th. Find out more about the bee themed uh, initiatives we have in store. So, December 10th, 11th, which one is it? So, I did a little bit of research about this. Turns out they said by December 11th, the bee update will be available on iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, and Switch, and Java PC. And I'm guessing and hopefully PlayStation 4 as well. So yeah, by the time of next week, we will have bees available. Uh, the suspicious thing is though, guys, they've given us a date. Minecraft never give official release dates. And that is because sometimes things go wrong. And if people are waiting for a spe specific day or date and it doesn't happen, people get angry. So really suspicious that they've given us a, a date. Like I said, this is the last update of 2019 which means the 1.15 beta will be January, February time. That is going to be uh, the nether update, but I'm also hoping for the introduction of some parity. There's still a lot of features on the Bedrock version that, well, we don't have that Java does, like maps, um, locations, you know, with maps and banners. There's so many different changes crawling fully. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but I always get a drop down box when I load up Minecraft saying failed to load character. I always get this issue. That's still a problem in this version. I, I generally cannot remember the last time skins were fixed. Now they did do some skin changes in this version of Minecraft and it's to do with the featured servers. Um, so if you go to play and you pick a server in here, if you go inside of here, things will load a lot faster. So we're gonna try that. So yeah, I can actually vouch for that. Uh, the lobby did load in a lot faster because there's a lot of custom skins now. People are editing the way Alex and stuff looks. Here's one right there. They're currently editing their Alex skin. Um, but because there's a lot of customizations, things can take quite some time to load in. There's a lot of cosmetics. I just want to see you, I just want to see your face so I can show people on YouTube. Uh, let's see if we can find another one, a custom Steve or a custom Alex. A lot of people are still just using their default skins. Wait, there's wait, wait, is that a different is that a different one? Yep, there's uh, creepy luck and Steve. So skins load a lot faster. That's all to do just with servers. So another problem I've noticed is you'll probably see that I don't have a cape on my skin. I was in profile, I was trying to edit the skin. There is no option for me to put a cape on my skin. That also seems to be missing. I've seen a couple of people telling me that they don't have that as well. Right, let's go to game anyway. So everything you see behind me is all the changes that changed in this version. First thing is guys, look, my hand is back. My, my arm is growing back. They finally fixed this. One of the most stupidest bugs they ever introduced in the last beta build. Hi friend, we had no hand, the arm was missing. So standard every single beta that I do, fix several crashes that occurred during gameplay. Again, this applies to all versions, iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox and Switch. When your device just closes down on its own and you're like, okay, Minecraft, thank you. Uh, that's just a change and a fix that's happened. Increased performance when loading skins on servers, which is exactly what I showed you. Things just load a lot faster. Uh, this one's to do with bees. So, we need to go to game mode survival here. Uh, forward slash game mode S. Whenever you now attack a bee, 
and they do sting you, they will actually die in Minecraft now. Um, that was also available in the last beta build. Apparently it wasn't fixed, so they've now fixed it. So eventually this bee will die. I know it's sad times, right? Because he shouldn't have a stinger. They've got stingers, but this guy does not have a stinger. So just like in real life, if a bee stings someone, something, they eventually die. F's in chat for the bees. Uh, players' arms have grown back, lol. Yeah, that's just me joking around. <laughs> it was the most annoying thing that your arm was broken and completely missing. They fixed that. And last but not least, in this beta build, placeholder text in resource slash behavior packs fixed. Nothing really major. If you use custom skim, uh, master packs or texture packs, that's now been fixed to do with, I believe it's to do with the lining of your text. It's not really a major issue, but it's been fixed. And that's it. So 1.14 beta is coming to an end. Minecraft in 2019 is also coming to an end. I do want to take the time to say thank you to everybody who has taken the time to support my beta videos. Your guys' feedback is really important. And the best thing is you guys seem to come back to my YouTube channel every single time there is a brand new beta. I like to explain the details that change in the best detail I can, whether it's a small beta like this one or a big one like 1.14, the first beta build, I will keep you all updated. So that being said, guys, if this is the last beta build, I will catch you in the future and I will catch you in the year 2020. Have a great day. Mark the 10th and 11th in your calendar and I catch you next time. Bye.